In the previous video, we learned about reactive declarations. We used the dollar colon syntax followed by a variable name to which we assign a value computed from other variables. For example, full name from first name and last name. In this video, let's take a look at reactive statements. In Svelte, the reactivity system is not limited to just declarations. We can also run statements reactively. The dollar colon syntax remains the same, but what follows after is different. Let's take a look at an example. In the script section, we're going to use dollar colon, and this is going to be followed by a console log statement. So console.log, full name is first name, followed by last name. So this statement is dependent on first name and last name, which means it reacts to changes in those values. If we head back to the browser, we see the initial log statement that gets executed. Full name is Bruce Wayne. But if I now click on change name, first name and last name are updated and the log statement is executed again since the dependent values have changed. So full name is now Clark Kent. Now of course, with reactive statements, you can also have multiple statements by simply wrapping them within curly braces. For example, I can split this log statement into a greet constant assignment and then log the value of greet to the console. So open curly braces, close curly braces, and here we can have multiple statements. Const greet is going to be equal to this string. Then we console log the greet constant. The behavior remains the same. And you're not limited to executing simple statements like these. You can even have conditions in your statements. Let's say we are implementing a volume control display for our application. The user can set a volume between 0 and 20. So in the script section, I'm going to add let volume is equal to 0. And in the markup, let's display the current volume. And also add two buttons to increment and decrement the volume. So button, increase volume, and on click of the button, volume plus is equal to two. So the step size is two. I'm gonna make copy of this, change plus to minus, and increase to decrease. Now this will work fine, but the volume can go below zero or beyond 20. To handle that scenario, we can use a reactive statement. In the script section, dollar colon, and then we're going to add our condition. If volume is less than zero, alert can't go lower, and we reset volume is equal to zero. Else, if volume is greater than 20, we're going to alert can't go higher, volume is going to be equal to 20. If we now save the file and go back to the browser, we can see that the current volume is zero. If I try to decrease the volume, we get the alert, can't go lower. And if we try to increase it beyond 20, we get the alert can't go higher. A reactive statement with conditions works as expected. But what is great about this approach is that it lets you define the event handler logic in isolation to the side effect that needs to be run. In our example, on click, we just have to worry about incrementing or decrementing the count value. But the business logic of what should happen when volume reaches a particular value 
is separated from the event handler logic, which leads to cleaner and more understandable code. As you can see, reactivity is pretty powerful in Svelte, so do make use of it when required. All right, with that, we have pretty much covered all the fundamental concepts in Svelte. Now it's finally time to start learning about the component architecture and all the details that revolve around it. Let's start learning about components from the next video. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you all in the next one.